Hello everyone, my name is Ivan Van Norman and this is a quick overview of Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. Now this entry into the magical world of Harry Potter is a cooperative deck building game designed and developed by USAopoly. To win, players must thwart the villains before they obtain control over the locations familiar to Harry Potter fans of both the books and movies. Now, the game consists of a board, tokens, and seven decks, which represent the seven different books or movies in the series. Now, game one consists primarily of the base game and should be open and sorted based on its locations, villains, dark arts cards, Hogwarts cards, and the starting character decks, Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Neville. Yay, Neville! Now, after they've been sorted, shuffle and stack the Hogwarts deck and deal out the six cards face up. Now, these are the available buys during the hero rounds. Then reveal for game one, one villain for them to fight. Then, give each player a health mat and give them their starting deck of ten cards. Draw five cards to create your starting hand and you can begin to play. Now, for many, this game will be familiar if you've played games like Star Realms or Ascensions. And if you have, and you are, after watching this video, you can open up Game 2 and 3 to brush up on the new rules and integrate those into your first play. But in Game 1, your only objective is to defeat all three villains in the deck before enough villain control tokens are placed on the two locations, Diagon Alley and the Mirror of Erised. To defeat the villains, you must allocate enough damage to equal their health. To do that, you play cards from your hand to acquire influence, money, or attack damage. Now, at the beginning of a player turn, reveal as many dark arts cards as the location determines. One in this case. Oh no, he who must not be named. We put a villain control token there. Then, apply any effects of revealed villains. In this game, only one. Oh no, each time a villain control token is added to the location, active hero loses two health. Damn it, Draco Malfoy, you're being a dick. Then, play any or all of your cards and apply their effects, earning any health, attack, and influence they generate on your mats. Alohomora, Alohomora, Alohomora. Remember, I'll give me four influence. And Trevor gives me either one attack or two health. I will take an attack. Now remember, cards do not hold over from turn to turn, so it's best to play everything. Use your monies to buy new cards and place them in your discard. I will spend four to get Incendio. And your attack to villains to further the storyline. I will attack Draco Malfoy. If there are enough villain control tokens to clear that location or attack on a villain to thwart him, draw a new one, and then put it into play. Then discard any unused cards, attack, and influence. Keep in mind, if you generated those for other players, they do get to keep it on their turns. Then draw up to five new cards. Wash, rinse, and repeat. If you do get down to zero health, you aren't eliminated from the game. Simply discard half of your hand if you're not the active player. If you are, just finish your turn. Add one villain control to the location and bring yourself back up to 10 health at the end of the turn. You're just one step closer to losing is all it is. And that's it for Harry Potter Hogwarts Battle. Should you choose to pick up this game, we hope we've managed to reduce your nose time in the rule book. And if you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. If you'd like to see this game played live, make sure to check out Game the Game every Thursday on twitch.tv slash geekandsundry, where we roll dice and play nice.